two sitting on top of Rex's cage. And I was inside and he was walking at me. Yes, I know, you're hungry, aren't you? Rex is normally in a big aviary, but uh, in winter it just gets down way too cold. So I bring him into the smaller cage um, and that way I can just roll him inside at night. Do you want me to go and put some food in your bowl, do you? All right, hang on, I'll go and get it. Are you going to stay there or are you going to fly away? Look, I've got your seed. Yum, yum. We're going to fly away, aren't you? Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll just put it here and then you can come and help yourself, okay? I'll back off. They're very cheeky. They screech at me in the morning till I come out. He flew back. As soon as I put my container back, he came in and started eating. Do you want a passion fruit, Rex? Hmm? Do you want me to go and get you a passion fruit? Where are you? There. Hey? Do you want me to go and get you a passion fruit? He loves passion fruit. Okay, I'll go and get one. He's seen it. <laughs> He's seen the passion of fruit. <gasps> Gets all excited. He's an old man now, is our Rex. He'll be 26 years old this year. Yum, yum. Hang on. I'm going to put it down here for you so that you can reach. Come here. Come here. I can't see where I'm filming. Oh, there we go, that's better. Hey? There you go. Yummy, yummy. Is that good? I know, it's good, isn't it? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come and say hello to everybody. Say hello. There we go. He says, no, I just want to go and eat my passion fruit. All right, all right. There you go. Go and eat your passion fruit. I got him when he was a week old. His eyes were still closed. He didn't have any feathers. Hand raised him. But yeah, like I said, I just bring him into the cage in winter. That way I can roll him inside into the, the heated room and let him have a fly around and walk on the couch and play with the dogs and all that kind of thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, a long video. Sorry. Bye. G'day guys. Welcome back. It's pouring time. I've had quite a few requests to do a pearl pour. Now, to tell you the truth, I haven't really done one in, oh, probably close to a year. <laughs> You know, you go through phases of doing things and then you move on and you do the next thing. But So I haven't done a pearl pour for ages, but um, let's have a go today. So the pouring medium is just this Floetrol. And I've got the gold that's going to go in the middle, a puddle in the middle. And I'm going to pour into the puddle. So the gold is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24K. And that is mixed one and a half time of one and a half parts flow troll I can't talk today to one part paint one and a half flow troll to one paint and then my black I've got artist loft black that is mixed one to one because it's a bit thinner um, and then a little splash of water my blues I've got Liquitex basics this light blue is here light blue permanent two parts flow troll to one part paint uh, this blue here is the phthalo blue and then the teal in the middle is the phthalo blue and the phthalo green mixed together. So that is my colours. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer everything in this little cup. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch canvas. So let's layer. Probably just going to do two layers really 
because there's not much paint here. I made up Oh, maybe there's a bit too much black in there. I made up uh, 30 grams of colours to 15 grams, sorry, 30 grams, I'm concentrating on this, 30 grams of Floetrol, I'm going to leave a little bit of black out, to 15 grams of paint, so that's two to one. I'm just going to scrape that out. There is a little bit of extra black, so really I should be doing three layers of black. Because the black was 30 grams of Floetrol, 30 grams of paint, and then a little blob of water. So it's got a little bit more paint in it. So um, yeah, it can, have, it can have three layers. One on the bottom, one in the middle, and then one on the end as well. And I haven't got any extra paint to like put on the edges because I want this paint to be really stretched out over my corners. It should be just enough. If you have too much of this paint, um, it'll be too thick on the surface and then your gold pearls won't be able to pop through. I'm using gold today, but I've used other colors. I've used silver, I've used bronze, I've used pink uh, or copper, green, blue, I've used all kinds of metallic paints. Um, but yeah, today is gold. We'll finish off with a little bit of black. Use it all up. So, what I thought I'd do today is just a, um, maybe a straight pour or a jiggle pour. I have done them in the past which have been ring pours. Oh, actually I can see one over there on the side there. I'll go and grab it. Let me clean my hands. Hopefully I haven't got paint all over me. Um, there's one. Here's one I prepared earlier. See, there's there's one. I did I did a ring pour with that one. I did a couple of these actually. This is not the best one. I don't know where the other one is. It's got that many. But um, when you pour your paint over the edges, it runs over the gold, and then your pearls come up. So that's basically what I'm hoping to achieve. As I said, I haven't done one in a very long time. So who knows if it will work? I'm very out of practice. Right, now my gold. I did 45 grams of Floetrol and 30 grams of paint. That's one and a half to one. So I like my paints a little bit thicker and my gold a little bit thinner. Just so that when it does pop up through the paints, if the paints are that little bit thicker, hopefully they will hold the cells or, or pearls in place. Now that I've done that, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. I've got my new camera. Hope it's nice and clear for you. I bought a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. So, <laughs> yes, it seems a little bit dark through the screen, but hopefully it's nice and clear. Right, now I'm just going to pour into the center and I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a straight pour or a bit of a jiggle pour. Looks like a jiggle pour is happening. So it looks as if I've got like a dark side and a light side. Oh, that looks so pretty. I have to get a little bit closer as I get lower in my cup. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't even want to spoil it by trying to get pearls. Oh, you guys, I'm definitely going to have to do a another pour like this with these colours. Just trying to get a little bit of more of that black out. And then you gotta catch the drip without sticking your fingers in. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it, you guys. Oops, I'm gonna make you dizzy, aren't I? Wowzers. All right, let's go back out again. Yeah, 
there we go. All right, now, the fun part. Now, you need to just go over each corner pretty fast. Um, yeah, you do. Otherwise, um, when your pearls come up, and if you're still stretching after your pearls come up, they're going to lose their shape. So let's hope this works. I've got no extra paint to cover corners. Here we go. See how the paint's rolling over the gold? That's what I want. Over. Back. Over. Back. Please work. Other corner. Oh, look at the corners, you guys. Look at the corners. Go, go, go. Needs to go over. And now I need to turn it around so you can see. See how the pearls popped up already? So you've got to get a wriggle on, otherwise your pearls are going to get all overstretched. But this whole corner needs to come off. So here we go. Big blob of black there in the middle. That's okay. Have I got enough paint? Go, 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 go. Go, you good thing. Oh, look at all my gold on the table. You will lose quite a bit of gold. You know, the, the paint's running over the gold. Okay. Back a little bit. It's the moving of your, of your paint over that gold that's going to create your pearls. Now, the pearls that I've got up here already, as I said, I, you know, you've got to be really careful because you don't want to overstretch them. So let's just leave it like that. Woo! Oh, I love the pattern. Okay, now it's gonna, I'm gonna give it a bit of a torch. I'm just getting the paint off my gloves. Oh, I love that, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Now, torching with my big boy blowtorch. Just gently all over, popping some bubbles, encouraging the cells. Oh, they're not really cells. I, can't, I don't call them cells. These are um, they're pearls. Cells are beautiful circles with colours inside colours. So you can see along the edges here, see how they're starting to come up? So just be patient. I don't know whether the heat actually helps, but just giving it a little bit of a torch. They'll, they'll most likely come up anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause for a bit. Um, we don't tend to get many in the middle. It's because, it's because the paint rubs over the gold on the edges that we get the pearls. So don't necessarily really get them in the middle because the paint hasn't like really stretched and gone over. So that is really, really pretty. Um, I'm going to just put you on pause for 10 minutes um, and let this develop. And uh, we'll come back. How's my new camera going? Is it pretty good? Is it, is it, is it, is it pretty good? <laughs> All right, pause you. Um, I'll be right back. So it's been about five minutes. I just did some cleaning up, went over my corners where I missed the very corners. Um, got a few more pearls through here. I love how they've come up through the black here. So pretty. And we've got a reasonably amount, a reasonably good amount all the way around. Your last corner that you usually go off um, is usually the, la yeah, the least amount of pearls. Um, because you know a lot of the gold's already gone over and you haven't got much paint left. I am going to go again as I always do and I'm going to just make my gold a teensy bit thicker. Um, these middle ones here where they're not bumping into anybody else they're like really nice and round but the ones further in you know they've kind of popped up and spread a little bit uh, maybe a little bit too much than what I would like. I mean, it's still really, really beautiful, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'll, and I'll keep trying and trying and trying until I get more of the look that I want. So I'm going to go again. Um, love these colours. 
turquoise didn't really show up that much maybe put a little bit more teal in um, and I'm going to go with a little bit thicker of the gold and just see what happens but let me take it in for a close up so I can move this ring light so it doesn't make patterns of rings everywhere always reminds me of the movie The Ring I went and watched it again the other day The Ring I love it All right, I'm going to keep my fingers away from the screen this uh, phone's got four cameras. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not on autofocus though, so I may have to play with the settings and um, put it on autofocus. Then I don't have to keep touching the screen to make it focus. Might do that next time, but isn't it beautiful and clear? Look at that shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Oh, look at those black lines. I love those black lines there. You can see the shimmer. You sort of get this sort of almost transparent look around the edges of those gold pearls. It's so pretty. So what do you think of my camera? Is it better? I hope so. It cost me a fortune, although I'm paying it off. Two years. I'm paying it off over two years with the plan. And in the black there... The pearls have got that really shimmery, translucent kind of a look. So there we go. Gee, I didn't think I could do it. It's, as I said, it's been a year. But um, woohoo, really happy with it. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a go. It's really not that hard. Um, in the next video, I'll show you my little card, my little handout that I give my students when they come. Um, and it'll tell you exactly how much to mix um, what quantities, how much paint you need, etc, etc. So um, don't miss that one. Hit the little um, notification bell and click all. That way you will be notified every time I put a video up. And as I said, the um, yeah, all the further details will be in the next video. I'll show you my little, my little secret card, hey? All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay. Bye for now.